So question three, uh, let us use compounds A, B, and C to investigate one of the factors that influences the vapor pressure of organic compounds. So um, 3.1 says uh, define uh, the term uh, vapor pressure. Okay, uh, this should be straightforward because the definition, uh, it just says the pressure exerted by a vapor at equilibrium with its liquid in a closed system, right? The pressure exerted by a vapor at equilibrium with its liquid in a closed system. Uh, let's move ahead. 3.2. 3.2 says, I uh, write down the in independent variable uh, for this investigation. So if you read the question again, it says, let us use compounds. We're using compounds A, and A, B, and C to investigate. So A, B, and C are independent. It's what we are using to investigate. So the independent uh, variable is the compounds used. Uh, they have different... Uh, they have different homology series. So you can say uh, the independent variable is the homology series. Um, so you can say uh, is the functional group. That's also uh, accept acceptable, right? Yeah, there we have it. Uh, 3.3 then says, uh, which compound A or B has the higher uh, vapor pressure? Okay, A is it ends with all so we already know that a is an alcohol and then b uh is it ends with on so we already know that is a ketone right uh, alcohol has a hydrogen bonding right and then bonding and then ketone has a dipole dipole forces right dipole 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 forces uh, so hydrogen uh, bonding uh, is stronger than dipole forces. So um, A has a higher uh, boiling uh, point uh, compared uh, to B because it's harder to break down A. So the question says, uh, which compound A or B has a higher vapor pressure? So because A is the one that has a higher a boiling point it has the low pressure so for this instance the compound with a higher uh, uh, vapor pressure is compound b because its boiling point is lower compared to to that of a compound a um, 3.4 3.4 says explain why the answer explain the answer for question 3.3 include the terms of intermolecular forces uh, in your explanation that's what i just said alcohol has hydrogen bonding ketone has dipole dipole hydrogen bonding is stronger than dipole dipole so alcohol has a higher boiling point compared to uh, ketone if a compound has a higher boiling point than the other then it has the lower uh, vapor pressure so in this instance, the ketone will have the higher vapor pressure. You can play that back just to digest it again. I'm sure you'll get it. So 3.5, uh, 3.5.1, uh, the graph below um, represents the relationship uh, between vapor pressure and temperature for compound A at sea level. Uh, X and Y represent uh, different temperatures. 3.5.1 says... Um, Write down the term for the temperature represented by X. Um, okay, we know that uh, VP at the atmosphere is 101.3. Uh, and then what's boiling point? Boiling point is when the temperature TP is equal to uh, the vapor pressure VP. So you can see here that uh, at this temperature, uh, the the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure so at x is the boiling point right yeah that temperature is the boiling uh, point or the boiling at uh, the temperature at which it will boil uh, 3.5.2 says state the phase of compound a at temperature y 
So the vapor pressure is above uh, TP, uh, atmospheric. Uh, no, the vapor pressure is above the atmospheric pressure. So when it's above the atmospheric pressure, uh, the compound is supposed to be a gas. Uh, when it's lower, uh, it's supposed to be a liquid uh, in that way.